This is Place de la République, where late into the night, there is still a crowd gathered around the monument, an enduring symbol of strength and freedom for more than a century. Parisians, once again in droves, defied that police order to stay home, and they turned to that monument at the mouth of a metro stop. From below ground, emotions bubble to the surface. Into the square that has forever defined Paris and the monument that is its backbone. Place de la République is the magnet that pulls everyone to its core. Pasun, a Tibetan refugee, leaves a note, candles and a prayer. She only arrived a month ago. I understand how they feel, how this family is going on these days. The monument embraces mourners again. The poster, weathered, is still hanging from the last time. Ten months ago, it was Charlie Hebdo. Charlie Hebdo, that was an attack on freedom of speech. But this is an attack on a way of life. Restaurants, a concert hall, football stadium, we couldn't get much more common. And that is the most frightening part. Nasira Arsuli knew the waiter killed in her neighborhood restaurant along with 11 others Friday night. On fait rien chez nous, on n'arrive pas à manger, on n'arrive pas à dormir, on n'arrête pas de passer l'image des jeunes qu'on connaît qui sont morts. Visible security is the obvious reaction, and so maybe is another rendition of a well-worn thought. You may say Sadly, it has certainly become the anthem here once again. That is our broadcast tonight from a wounded city. I'm Lisa Laflamme. For the team here in Paris and for everyone in the CTV National Newsroom, thank you for watching. We'll see you again tomorrow.